Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Unplugged. Today we will learn about crystal field theory. There are three theories to explain metal and ligand bonding in coordinated complexes. Valence bond theory, crystal field theory and ligand field theory or molecular orbital theory. And among them, crystal field theory and ligand field theory are the most important. So before starting crystal field theory, we should know why valence bond theory was rejected and we will discuss about brief outline of valence bond theory. According to valence bond theory, atomic orbitals of metal ion hybridizes to generate equal number of hybrid orbitals. These hybrid orbitals combine with ligands depending upon the geometry of complexes. Complex may be high spin or low spin depending upon which d orbitals are participating in bonding. For example, in nickel, the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d8 and 4s2. When nickel will form complex, it will go in Ni plus 2 state means there are 8 electrons in outer D. For example, we have tetracyanato nicolate 2. According to VPT, this D or this D electron changes its spins and combine with this D electron. And the four pair of electrons from ligand and electron from four pairs of electron from ligand will go in n minus 1 d orbital ns orbital and 2 np orbital in this way d sp2 hybridization and the complex will be low spin because there is they all are paired we will say it as low spin complex next is tetrachloronuclease 2 in this complex the Four pair of electrons from ligand will go in S and 3P orbitals and there will be sp3 hybridization and the complex will be high spin because there are two unpaired electrons in D orbital. Therefore, it is, it is known as high spin complex. But valence bond theory was not, not able to explain why different complexes of same metal ion are high spin or low spin. VBT was not able to explain it. So next we come to crystal field field theory. And according to crystal field theory, the bonding in central metal atom and ligand in complex compound is due to electrostatic attraction. So before starting the details of crystal field theory, first we have to know about the d orbitals of metal atom. There are two type of d orbitals in metal atom first is d orbital has orientation in between coordinate axis means they have their orientation in between x y and z axis so there are three type three d orbitals which have their orbitals in between coordinate axis d y z d x z and d x y second is d orbital oriented along the x-axis. Their orbitals are along the x, y or z direction. These are dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals. Means in free metal atom, all the 5d orbitals are of same energy. Means they are degenerate. But when ligand approach toward the d orbitals of metal their energy start to increase due to repulsion between the electrons of ligand and d orbitals electron when ligands oriented in different geometry approach towards the metal ion then energy of only those d orbital will increase to larger extent than the other d orbitals for example in this complex the d orbitals are the energy of those d orbitals will increase in higher amount which are present along the x y or z axis because all the ligands are present along the x y and z direction so the repulsion between 
ligands and the d orbitals along these axes will be higher so their energy rise in their energy will be higher and the d generate d orbitals will split into two sets of orbitals having different energy and this process is known as crystal field splitting so first we take crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes the geometry this is the geometry of octahedral complex all the ligands are aligned along the x y and z axis so and we know that d x square minus y square and d z square d orbitals lie along the these x y and z axis d z square is along the z axis and d x square minus y square is along the x and y axis so the energy of these two type of d orbitals will increase in larger extent than the other d orbitals because they feel more repulsion from the ligands in comparison to the other more repulsion means higher will be their energy so the energy of d z square d x square minus y square will be greater than d x y y z and d exit so suppose in the starting the orbitals all the d orbitals are degenerate means all have same energy and this is the hypothetical state when ligand start to move towards the d orbitals and when there is they it, they occupy their definite position then the x y y z and x z will have low energy and d x square and d x d x square minus y square and d z square will have higher energy because they will feel more repulsion okay and these two doubly digit and these two orbitals are doubly degenerate means two orbitals are of same energy and they are denoted by e g and these three orbitals are triply degenerate means three orbitals are of same energy and they are denoted by t2g eg orbitals has energy 6 dq greater than hypothetical state hypothetical ha state has e is equals to 0 and eg has 6 dq more energy than this hypothetical state while t2g has minus 4 dq energy as compared to hypothetical state and the crystal field splitting is the energy difference between these two types of orbitals the energy difference between eg and t2g is known as crystal field splitting and we denote it by delta not del not for octahedral complexes for example we have one electron in d orbital then it will go in t2g because t2g has lower energy than eg so the electron will go in t2g state so the complex will be my will have energy minus 4 dq minus 4 into 1 1 for 1 electron and it will be 4 dq more stable than hypothetical state means hypothetical state has energy 0 and the difference of these two will be 4 dq so it is known as crystal field stabilization energy cfsc is crystal field stabilization energy next is d2 so the crystal field splitting energy will be 0 minus minus 4 into 2 2 for 2 electrons in t2g so the crystal field stabilization energy will be 8 dq next is for t d4 there are two possibilities in d4 the three electrons will go in t2g and fourth one will go in eg and fourth electron will pair up with one electron of t2g so when the pairing energy is greater than crystal field splitting energy then pairing is not possible okay so the condition will be like this so these type of complexes are known as high spin complex or weak field complexes means crystal field splitting energy is weak to 
and it cannot support pairing of electrons for example for this we can calculate crystal field stabilization energy 0 minus 6 6 for 1 eg electron minus minus 4 into 3 Th there are 3 electrons in t2g so it will be multiplied by 4 so the net cfse will be 6 dq second possibility is that the crystal field splitting energy is high so it can support pairing of electrons so in this this type of compounds are known as low spin complexes or high field complexes so crystal field stabilization energy will be 0 minus minus 4 into 4 that is 16 dq during calculation of these crystal field stabilization energy, we are not considering electron inter-electronic repulsion. But the exact method is to include inter-electronic repulsion. The result is same for all configuration, but the inter-electronic repulsion affects D2, D7 metal ions in weak field octahedral environment and d3 d8 in tetrahedral environment so you have to remember these two conditions d2 and d7 on weak weak field octahedral environment and d3 d8 tetrahedral environment for d2 when we calculate the crystal field stabilization energy for weak field octahedral on environment it is 8 dq but it is not correct the exact value is 6 dq after including the effect of inter-electronic repulsion. Similarly, for d7, it is 8 dq. And it is not correct value. The exact value is 6 dq. Next is crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes. This is the geometry of tetrahedral complexes. And in these complexes, the ligands are in between x, y and z axis and they are more close to d, x, y, y, z and exit orbitals in comparison to d, z square and d, x square minus y square orbitals. So, the rep repulsion due to electrons of ligand will be experienced more by d, x, y, y, z and exit orbitals as compared to d x z square d x square minus y square orbitals so higher repulsion means they have higher energy this is the crystal field splitting diagram of tetrahedral complexes and this is the degenerate state and it is the hypothetical state when ligand start to approach towards that central metal atom so after splitting the dx square minus y square and dz square will have lower energy because they will experience less repulsion as compared to dxy, yz and xz and they will these these three orbitals will have higher energy in tetrahedral complexes we denote them by t2 and e and this triply degenerate orbitals mean t2 will have 4 dq more energy as compared to hypothetical state and doubly degenerate state that is e will have 6 dq less energy as compared to hypothetical state so in this way the crystal field stabilization energy of tetrahedral complex is reverse of octahedral complexes and its value is minus 4 by 9 delta naught minus sign denotes reverse order of crystal field stabilization energy and it indicates that the crystal field stabilization energy for tetrahedral complexes is low as compared to octahedral complexes because they have tetrahedral complexes have less ligands as compared to octahedral complexes in tetrahedral complexes we have four ligands and in octahedral complexes we have six ligands so less ligands less repulsion and less will be the difference between two energy levels
For example, for D1, the electron will go in EG. It, it has one electron only. So its crystal field stabilization energy will be 0 minus minus 6. That is 6 dq. For D2, it will be 12 dq. For D4, we have two possibilities. Again, we have two possibilities. One is that they will the electrons will remain in singlet state or in second possibility is that they can combine or pair with each other. But in case of tetrahedral complexes, pairing is not possible because they have low amount of crystal field stabilization energy and this energy cannot support pairing of electron. It is not enough for the pairing of electrons. So low spin complexes are not possible in tetrahedral, are not possible with tetrahedral geometry. Mostly they have high spin complexes. Next is crystal field splitting in tetragonal complexes. Tetragonal geometry is somewhat like the octahedral, but these two ligands are moved away from the central metal atom as compared to the octahedral complexes. So the electrons, so the orbitals lying along the z-axis or close to z-axis will feel less repulsion due to the electrons of ligand in z-axis. So the orbitals d, y, z, x, z, and dz square will have lower energy means t2g this is the state of octahedral complex we split them in eg and t2g in octahedral complexes t2g uh, t2g has three orbitals d x y y z and x z and eg has d x x square minus y square and d z square but in case of Tetrahedral complexes as these two ligands are moved away from the central metal atom. So the repulsion is decreased means their energy will also decrease. And as, they, as the ligands along the z-axis moved away from the central metal atom, the ligands in x and y-axis are moved close to metal atom. So the Ligand. So, the orbitals along the x, y axis will feel more repulsion as compared to earlier state. Next is crystal field splitting in square planar complexes. In square planar complexes, we have only 4 ligand. But we can compare square planar complexes with octahedral complexes. Suppose in octahedral complexes, we removed both the ligands along the z axis in this way the energy of dz square and dxz yz will fall greatly like this way and they the ligands along the x and y axis will move close to the metal atom so they will feel more repulsion so they will be they will become higher energy level and the crystal field splitting energy is splitting is the difference between these two orbitals. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it and press the bell icon for future notifications.